God bless you all. Let me read a passage from the Bible. I'm going to read Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Again, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Observe them carefully, for this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations who will hear about all these decrees and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. And that comes from Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 6. Let's talk about it. Being wise is not what you know about the world, but how well you know God. I'm going to say that again. Being wise is not what you know about the world, but how well you know God. Dave here with another video about wisdom. Human reasoning will not make you wise. It may even lead you to reject the ways of God. We have to be careful. Let's look at 1st of Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 through 25. That'll help explain more. Again, it's 1st of Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 through 25. And the scripture says, "For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Where is the wise person? Where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not know him. God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believe. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those whom God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. For the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom, and the weakness of God is stronger than human strength. And again, that is from 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18 through 25. God's purpose in creating a nation for himself was to demonstrate his wisdom to the world through his obedience of his people. We understand more from Zechariah chapter 8, verse 23, where the scripture says, this is what the Lord Almighty says. In those days, 10 people from all languages and nations will take firm hold of one Jew by the hem of his robe and say, let us go with you because we have heard that God is with you. And that's in Zechariah chapter 8, verse 23. As the Israelites followed God, he would bless them, and the wisdom of obeying God would be evident to all. You see, God gives you the same opportunity to base your life on his wisdom. Did you know that you have access to God's wisdom? The Holy Spirit is within you to guide you. Let's look at John chapter 16, verse 13, where it says, but when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. And again, that's in John chapter 16, verse 13. The Holy Spirit will open your eyes to the truth of the scriptures so that you can see things from God's perspective. Your own personal ignorances and opinions will lead you astray. You can easily be lost. Only God sees the future, so only God can accurately lead you to make correct decisions today. Seek the Holy Spirit. As you allow God to direct your life, those around you will see true wisdom. It's wisdom not of the world, but of God. Others will be confused about what to do in our complicated world, but God will guide you safely to the correct choices for you. 
Your family will be blessed because you make wise decisions. Your friends will have a wise counselor to come for help. Your obedient life will demonstrate the wisdom of allowing the Holy Spirit to be your guide. From the Resurrection Center, my name is Dave.